And welcome back, this is Baller Scooby with an episode of Let's Play Xenogears. We're still here in Nizan with our trusty team of Fei Fang Long, Bart Fatima, and Satana Zuge. Uh, just wanted to show you guys a little quick cutscene that we have here. It appears that the Maison is not letting us in the inn for whatever reason, so uh, yeah, I know what happens when you get there, so I'm pretty much going to level up as much as I can on one... Uh, well, without having to save or, or heal up, try to get as many death blows for uh, Dokazuki as I can. And I'll meet you back here in just one second. And welcome back. This is Bella Scoop with an episode of Let's Play Xeno Gears. I'm joined as always by Fei Fang Long, Bartholomew Fatima, and Doc Satana Uzuki. I did uh, finish leveling up all I wanted to do. I don't think I actually. I might have gained one level for each person, uh, but primarily what I wanted to do was to get all of Satan's death blows so I learned. Shinrei, Rankin, Hakei, and Ogi, and just like everybody else, he cannot learn the last three yet. Uh, you don't have to do this, but um, you'll, you'll probably be doing it sooner or later, so I figured this was the best time to do it before we uh, moved on with the story any further. And uh, as I'll show you, they'll give you plenty of hints that the story's going to be moving on from here. Um, as you can see, I do have uh, the magnetic coat and on um, well tall. Uh, you know, I have one on everybody. It increases response, uh, which is um, pretty much an evasion and accuracy thing, which doesn't sound that important, but uh, it adds up over time. So I have a magnetic coat on everybody. Um, I do hear that if you can get all three of the gears fully equipped with just magnetic coats that it actually uh, owns, but I didn't do that yet. Um, I, I wanted to talk to the Maison, and the little girl's not going to let me, is she? Please move. Uh, no, no, she's not. Okay, so, um... Hold on, well, there she goes. There she goes. I was wondering, I'm like, am I going to have to reset the game so that I can talk? So they let us rent the house. And then we can uh, we can rest here without saving at the end. I didn't even have to save at the end. It's uh, it's not that tough to, to level up level uh, the death blows. Not nearly as tough as I remembered it. Uh, maybe because I didn't know what I was doing, wasn't double checking. Um, so, yeah. What's up? So we have to talk to Sig. You know, every time I say that, I think of the Deadliest Catch, which I doubt you guys watch. It's a good show, though. I don't know why it's a good show, but it's a good show. So what's up, Sig? Oh, I might as well warn you guys now. Uh, once again, we're going to be having cutscene-heavy episodes for a little bit here. Uh, probably two or three are going to be pure cutscenes, more or less. Yes, I need to ask you some questions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, you, Sig. And we must go away from everybody else so that you, I can ask you these questions. Even though we totally rented this house, we have this house all to ourselves. I don't want, I guess, Faye to overhear since Doc clearly can. What's up with you and that Gubbler officer? What's the connection between you and him? He's talking about Ramses. You sure know a lot about Gubbler. Why do you know so much about Gubbler? Yeah, and he calls Doc in, and Faye's kind of just staying there. Oh, what do I do? I'll tell you. Me and Satan. You see that he hesitated to call him Satan. He wants to call him Hugo. They used to live in Solaris. You mean where Gubbler is from? Yes. Yes, it is. We kind of already knew that. But they're they're pretty much flat out saying what they've been hinting this entire game. Uh, basically, yeah, um, slavery. Yes, we are slaves to them. And Faye just kind of stands awkwardly in the corner. Is that where you met him? I assume he's still talking about Ramses. 
We worked for the Solaris government for a short while, but, but we learned to dislike their methods and escape the first chance we had. So these guys are pretty evil, these Gebler forces. Ellie? Ellie's with the evil people? You were friends with these people? I met you when I was a kid, and we've been together ever since then, so this would have had to have happened before then. Oh, yes. I must pace while I think this out. I probably wouldn't have understood this if I had heard earlier, but why didn't you think I could deal with it now? Surely you could have told me about this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why, why don't you guys flat out say this kind of stuff? They've hinted at it so many times in this game. They've hinted at it so many things, actually. Uh, some of which we probably won't hear for a long time. There's one thing I want you to believe. We left Solaris on our own will and for our own reasons. We're not spies for him or anything like that. We can't just sit back and do nothing. If need be, I will give my life to stop them. Good to know. And, yes, Bart must pace some more while he thinks this over. But can you elaborate a little more? And I take a seat so I can ask questions. Yeah, you have four questions here. I'm going to cycle through all of them. If you want to skip them, just go to Why Did You Leave. Where is Solaris? Surface dwellers things. It's as if Solaris is in another location, like up in the clouds or something, like that crazy guy said. You guys remember that crazy guy? He said the sky people were abducting people. Etranok, the cap, the capsule. I, th I assume they mean capital of the Solaris Empire is located in the skies above. Yeah, there aren't very many s translation errors as much as there are spelling errors in this game. From by dimensional distortion fields known as gates. Dimensional distortion fields? Are you serious? Uh, you need a special means of transportation such as an airship. Like the giant salamander slash sperm that we saw earlier. I still say it's a salamander. I came much later than Sigurd did, but I also escaped in the same way. What are lands? Indicate those who live on Earth, right? Surface dwellers or Earth dwellers are used for manual labor there. And now Faye's listening into the conversation. Manual labor could be anything from soldiers to administrative jobs. Solaris goes its workforce from the land while his job is to find out by who is most suitable. Sometimes people are brainwashed. Awesome. So we've got a clockwork orange up there. When you were when the master were still in front, I was used as a test subject. There was something that they valued inside of Sid. What's going on? Were you experimented on, Doc? Show me on, show me on your own body where they touched you. Touch yourself there. Oh, no, he wasn't experimented on. He was born in the lower city levels. It's not a complete secret, but I guess I am a Solarian. What do you mean you guess? You still need people to run a country, of course. No support without people, right, and... Okay, pure Solarians are rare. They would not even make up a quarter of Ave's total population. So they support their country by stealing surface dwellers. Awesome. Oh yeah, let's not ask any follow-ups to that. Uh, who is that man? His name is Cardon Ramses. He's the Gabler Commander. Yeah, I figured that out. Oh, Ramses? We call him Car. Because Caron is kind of hard to say. And yeah, they were in a school known as Jugend. I never did look up Jugend. But I definitely know it's Norse. I want to say it's a hall. A hall of some sort. He is a lower level citizen, the same as me, however, with his amazing abilities after graduating. He rose through the ranks with unparalleled speed. He wanted a consolidation of all his colleagues, even land dwellers, if they had talent or brought into the army. Uh, no. 
they were not picked by him. They aligned with him. They agreed with him. I mean, it doesn't sound too bad, what he's trying to do. Ramses was our hope. He had high ideals and wanted to change the system in Solaris to us test subjects and lower level citizens. He was truly all that we wished for. So, so what happened? He was a benefactor? Even I, a test subject, was changed by his ideals. And that's the end of that story. Like, seriously, I need more information from you guys. So, yes, why did you want to leave? Flashback. That's why. We were placed in key military positions by Ramses, and thanks to that, we came to know the relationship between Solaris and the surface dwellers. Ah, okay. The, the lambs, right? Yeah, I figured out how about, like, part 12, dude. Catch up. They weren't just using us the land. Oh, that's right, Sigurd was a lamb. As lambs for slave labor, they also selected some of us, like me, to be used as subjects in experiments to refine their drugs. Awesome. To make them more aggressive and to draw out their latent abilities. Oh, great. To test their psychological alteration drugs. This is a clockwork orange. What the hell? Human guinea pigs experimenting on humans? No. We must test all your guinea pigs and rats. Drive. That drug and all others like it are used now. Oh, and all others like it that are used. It's weird. That sentence is phrased weird. Are byproducts of human experimentation. However, the role of such experimental subjects was not limited to just that. What else? What else do we got? What else are we talking about here? This drive drug is something that anyone in the Solaris Army can use? Yes. Anyone in the Gubbler forces who was sent to the surface? Huh. You're worried about Ellie. Shut up! I'm totally not in love with her. Shut up, Bart. She's not my girlfriend. I saw something in her room. You lie! No, he can't be. Using slaves as guinea pigs. How low are these guys? They're slaves. They don't. They don't think twice. Yeah, I get it. Um, if you say ask again, I'll just cycle through it all again. So yes, I get it. I don't need to go through that again. I think I get most of it. So yeah, they're really trying to drive the point home about what's going on here. Uh, so.